Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to add two sections beside each other in Squarespace 7.1 so that you can add text and other Squarespace blocks beside your gallery sections. So when they switched over from Squarespace 7.0 to 7.1, they eliminated the use of gallery blocks in regular pages. You can still use them in blogs, events, and products. However, in a regular page like this one, you can't use a gallery block. Instead, you use gallery sections. The struggle that people are having is that you can't add other blocks into a gallery section meaning that you can't move them around and have text beside the section um, just above or below. So in this video, we're going to look at sort of a workaround for this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to pages and click on the page that you want to add the sections in. Then click on edit. You're going to scroll down and we're going to add your text and gallery. So click on the plus and add a blank section. And then in the text box here, you can add whichever text or blocks you want beside your gallery. So you can style this like a typical image block or image card. Um, so I'm gonna make this a heading two and this just regular text, maybe a little bit bigger. So this is what I want to go beside my gallery section. And then underneath I'm going to add in my gallery. I think I'm going to do a slideshow. I'm going to click on the pencil and I'm going to make it a height of small and a width of large. You don't have to do this as long as you play with these to make sure that the height is similar between your text and your galleries just so that it lines up nicely. I'm going to turn off the thumbnails and then I'm going to make sure that my text section also has a section height of small and large and centered. Done. Save. So now I have the text I want beside the gallery and the gallery itself. I'm then going to go to the home page and click design. Scroll down to custom CSS and copy and paste the code listed below this video. There's a couple things you're going to need to edit in this code. The first being the collection ID. So we need to find the ID of the page that you're on. To do this, you should have this open in Chrome and developer tools turned on. Then you're going to right click on the page and select inspect. To find the page ID, you're going to scroll up until you see a big block of blue text. I'm going to keep scrolling. You'll see, you'll understand what I mean when you see it right there. So a big block of blue text and go right up to the top of that block. And at the top, you should see body ID equals collection dash and a bunch of numbers and letters. So this is the collection ID. You're going to double click on that to get that ID, copy it and paste it in front of the hashtag. So you still need the hashtag there and you'll see some sections jump up. Now, if you're not using the second and third sections of the page, like I am, you're going to also need to change this two and three. Okay. So to do that, if you're not sure how to count sections, you're going to click on edit and each section will be divided by this blue plus. So I have first section, second section, third section, fourth, fifth, and so on. So you're going to count the sections and then change these numbers two and three to represent the sections that you want to actually change and have beside each other. 
Once you have those, you're going to click Save and refresh your page to allow everything a chance to resize. And then there's some other numbers in here that you may want to edit to make your gallery look the best. Um, so one thing is the size of these. So right now the sections are set to 50% and 50%. You can change this to add up to anything to 100. So for instance, maybe you want the text to be 40% and the gallery to be 60%, okay? or vice versa. As long as those two numbers add up to 100, then you're good to go. I also have it set to be a minimum height of 80% of the viewing height, this 80 view height here. And that's just so the sections are the same height. And I also have this uh, items to be aligned in the center so that they're nicely aligned together. If your section's not this tall, you can always change the 80 to something less. Um, that way, you know, they're the same size. You're going to want these numbers to be the same here. If you want the text to be on the other side, you just have to change this left to the word right. That's it. Regardless of which side you float the text on, it is set to reorder on a mobile. So if we flip over to a mobile device, the text will go on top of the slider or whichever order you have these sections in when you built them. So if you put the text below the slider, um, then on mobile, it will go below. So it is set to only have this set up when it's above 641 pixels in length. And there you have it. So that is how you place two sections beside each other so that you can have text beside your gallery section.